Kevin Durant says that we all us smoke it a weed. So apparently he had a really big part of um, getting the NBA to decriminalize or, or essentially they removed it from their banned substances list. Also, by the way, it invested in a number of cannabis companies. Yeah. And I'm so curious about your decision to be public about that. And what the end, did the I, I assume, does Adam Silver call you up and say? No, hey, hey, I actually Adam. call him and tell, and, and, and advocated for him to take marijuana off the banned substance list. Um, I just felt like it was being, you know, becoming a thing around the country, around the world, that it was, the stigma behind it wasn't as negative as it was before. Uh, you know, it doesn't affect you in any negative way. So I just, I just felt like it was. Uh, and what did Adam tell you when you said this to him? They agreed, and you see where, where we well, are. Well, now they've now now they've actually told players you can you can, you yeah. can invest and you yeah. can you yeah, can smoke so, and everything else. I think. Yeah, I mean, yeah, you can. Yeah, definitely. Marijuana is... But you were a pioneer, if you will. I wouldn't call myself a pioneer. Not at all. Um, but... The trailblazer. <laughs> My bad. But... A, pioneer, a public pioneer. How about that? I wouldn't say that either. <laughs> uh, but uh, I, I just enjoy the plant. I mean, as simple as that. And... Uh, so what did you what did you tell Adam? How did you how did you persuade him? Well, he smelt it when he worked when he walked in when I walked in. So I didn't really have to say much. You know what I'm saying? He kind of understood where this was going. And then I mean, it's, it's the NBA, man. Everybody is like, uh, I hate to be. Everybody does it. To be honest, I mean, it's like wine at this point. It's just like wine. I wonder what what percentage of NBA players is there? Do we have any data? We have a couple estimates. Okay, let's look at all the estimates here. Oh yeah, apparently in the in the in the bubble they went crazy. It was blowing it down there, J.R. Smith noted. I don't believe this quote. It doesn't sound like something Steve Nash would say. Steve Nash would respond, I'm from Vancouver, bro. He never said this, man. I, this is just a lie. <laughs> That's just a bad lie. Let's try this keep nice weed. You know what? I'm not. I'm not a. I'm not a. I'm, I was never really a smoker, but um, you know, I, it, the indica has really helped me sleep. I don't know if you guys use indica for sleep, but uh, I use that, it for life. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Wait, why did we see the reaction? <laughs> I use it for life. So that's a, but I knew there's no way Steve Nash was a big weed smoker, especially in his playing days. I could see him being one of the like the old heads who has like you know he's got like a P3 of like a, a you know oh, ready for bed now. You know one of those. I can see him, but he's not gonna even that. He probably like take the edibles. Indica has really helped me sleep. <laughs> I don't know if you guys use indica for sleep, but uh. <laughs> so I don't know why this makes me laugh. It feels like he's like has something to relate to them on, like yeah, and then and they just kind of just leave him hanging, and then he kind of reels it back in a little bit. I was never really a smoker, but um, uh, you know, I, I, the indica has really helped me sleep. I don't know if you guys use indica for sleep, but uh, I use that, it for life. Yeah. Um, <laughs> You know what, I'm not, I'm not a- I'm <laughs> That's so good. Five players who smoke weed. I don't believe this article. What is this? I mean, I believe LaMelo Ball smokes weed. Yeah, probably. <sighs> ah, ain't no way. A video of LaMelo Ball smoking a blunt went viral during the NBA play in tournament earlier this year. That's crazy, bro. What are you doing? The Hornets were demolished by the Hogs. 132-103. Ball finished with 26 points. And 8 assists. Ball went 7 for 25. That's like what I was saying. That was my experience when I played weed. Just like, every shot you're like, yo, I could hit this, I think. Allen Iverson used weed a lot early in his NBA career, even getting arrested for possession of marijuana in 1997. Iverson eventually stopped smoking pot until he was convinced by Al to get into the weed game. But this is, he actually became a partner of Al Harrington in his company that's valued at a hundred million dollars now? I was telling him, bro, if we do this, you're gonna have to smoke. He said to me, if you make weed taste like Don Perignon, I'll smoke it. <laughs> LeBron James? Confessed in his book, Shooting Stars, that he smoked marijuana in high school. 
He was also seen using a vaporizer in 2013. His son was smoking a blunt. Yeah, this is the move right here. I wondered what happened with that situation. Cause his son posted, cause you know, you have your famous son, they're gonna, they're, teenagers are gonna do dumb shit, but it be, the difference just becomes a story when you're a celeb, right? But it's smart, he just never commented on it. Let that shit die, no one gives a fuck. Wait, Draymond had a blunt roller station at his wedding? Come on, man. 85%. Even my best friends in the league, they didn't want their parents to they smoke or support a cannabis brand. But this year, we you will be surprised. I'm personally a few athletes to push the line and say the use and why they use. But right, there are three top 20 in the league type guys. Interesting, interesting. So KD is definitely one of them. I used to smoke every goddamn day. I used to smoke and not drink shit. Or I used to smoke a blunt and drink a Corona and I'd be straight for the rest of the day. So, but... These are all people with like an investment in, you know, it being normalized. KD has image I already have a couple of me. I mean, isn't that the podcast is called All in a Smoke, Up in Smoke or whatever, I swear, right? You guys are interesting though. Okay.